Is it the Dawn Brigade? Nope, uh, it's just me, post-production Manx. I just wanted to say sorry, you guys, for displaying Leonardo's basis wrong in the previous episode. I have no idea how, but I managed to put Edward's basis into his. So this is how Leonardo's stats actually look, so at least now we have it on camera. Uh, also, Mikaya's sacrifice heals for more than 10 hit points, it heals for exactly as much as it needs to, and I meant to say vote for your favorite characters not vor for your favorite characters. That is a typo I'll probably never live down. You know, remember back in the good old days when you could use YouTube annotations to remove mistakes? Very funny. Um, you know, I miss those days. We should probably get them back. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, enjoy today's Let's Play. Whoosh. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Mengs, and I am joined here by the Makwa. Hey, hey. <laughs> and we are about to enter chapter one of uh, Radiant Dawn. Uh, so first, we got to listen to some uh, voice acting. Isn't that great, Mecca? We don't have to voice act. I love voice acting that isn't done by you or yeah. me. I, I, I will say, though, the voice acting in this game is really well done. I love the narrator. Oh, I, I, I don't like most voice acting. I like the narrator, though. Yeah, the, but this narrator is great. All right, let us listen. Tell you. The year 648, early summer. The northeastern nation of Dayan lost a bloody war with neighboring Crimea three years ago. When Oscar and Kieran soloed the entire Crimea, nation. <laughs> its right to you mean Ike? <laughs> and passed sovereignty of its former enemy to the powerful Benyon Empire. They're evil. Its future is now subject to the whims of the Empire. Very evil. Not the whole thing. Nah, I guess not. I, I want this guy to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> forces have gathered all day in men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. Their work is brutal and void of purpose, designed to break both body and spirit. The remaining population faces poverty and starvation as the fields lie fallow. A band of young heroes has escaped the Benyon <laughs> to heroes. form a group called the Dawn Brigade. Triggered. Fighting for a free day in, they alone have stood against Benyon's forces. They alone have shouldered the hopes of their nation. Kaya looks bad in it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think so? She looks weird. Yeah, she does. A young girl named Micaiah. Said to possess mystical power. Yeah, she can use magic. <gasps> Ooh. Have come to know her as the silver haired maid. She can drain her own hit point bar. Oh Ooh. my god, she has weird hair. Because she's like the most normal hair color in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> there are people with blue and green here. To capture and silence the Dawn Brigade. However, Mikaya's ability to sense impending danger has thus far allowed the Dawn Brigade to evade the Empire's grasp. All right, so it's time for chapter one, Maiden of Miracles. Uh, and this chapter can give you quite the headache if you don't know how to handle it. Oh, you must be really bad if you don't know how to handle this chapter. <laughs> hey, you can... This chapter is actually pretty tricky, I'll have you I know. I don't think so, no. It's not very tricky. It is sort of tricky. You got Nolan, what the fuck can go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> he can die. Um, alright, so... <laughs> I guess if you're Manx, you can die. <laughs> hey, if you go back and watch my initial playthrough of this chapter, I struggle no. like crazy. <laughs> no, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough already, I'm out, bye. <laughs> Uh, so this is chapter one. Uh, the condition is to escape in ten turns. Um, the bonus experience you get for this chapter is you get a twenty experience clear bonus, and then you get ten experience if you clear the chapters in ten turns, which is kind of funny considering you have to escape in ten turns. So there's no way you can actually fail this. It's a requirement even I can't fuck up. Um, we'll see. You gotta, Mikaya gotta reach uh, one of these two tiles. You don't have to kill the boss. Isaya. Uh, actually, I actually forgot to say, but. The so, I'm sure someone's gonna point it out in the comment section. The last boss was named Pugo. <laughs> Pugo, Pugo, Pugo. Pugo, Pugo. Uh, so, so you don't have to kill him, but he drops a steel sword. You definitely want that steel sword. Um, also, EXP. EXP is rare in this game, man. You gotta it, kill the boss. It is. Um, for some strange reason, this is an escape map, and you can escape with everyone but Mikaya if you want to, but you don't get any bonus experience for it. You get on the later chapters, though, so... Um, anyway, we got someone new to talk about. We got everyone's favorite, Brolin. Uh, 
Chuck Nolan. Chuck. Glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> Chuck Nolan Brolin. He goes under many names. So Nolan, um, but, <coughs> he's uh, sort of the mini Jagan of this game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you get so triggered when I use archetypes? He's just an overlevel dude. <laughs> he's a mini Jagan. It's, it's funny because he falls behind a level pretty quickly. Actually, he does exactly. That's why I call him a mini dragon. So, so that, and, <clears throat> fuck, I'm not even bothering it. <laughs> fuck it. Go on. So he has good unit syndrome, kind of similar to Mordecai. Um, Brolin is very tanky. He brings some much needed bulk to the squishy Dom Brigade, uh, who all die pretty much unless they're named South. Um, I really like uh, Nolan. Um, he doesn't have like the best of bases, like if you look at his stats and you compare him to like someone like Edward, he's not like super good, but he's definitely- Wait, Compared to Edward, he doesn't look good? What are you smoking? <laughs> I mean, he's not, what I'm saying is he doesn't have like, he's not Marcus where he can like solo chapters. No, that's my point, he's not a mini Jake. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's higher level, he's a mini, he's like a mini Marcus, Jesus Christ. You can, you can talk once I'm done. <laughs> 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 Armed with a Steel Axe, he hits pretty hard, uh, does 23 damage at base with it, which is pretty good. Um, he comes with the Nihil skill. Uh, I think the Nihil skill is a little bit more useful in Radiant Dawn, because there's more enemy-related combat skills, but on average, it's not a fantastic skill. It's better to just take it off him and give, give it to Ike before the Black Knight fight or something like that. Um, but, <gasps> oh, uh, shit, I spoiled the Black Knight. He's in this game. Woo-woo. Uh, yeah, Heroes already did it. Um... <laughs> If Heroes already did it, it's a very low stat. <laughs> uh, Nolan's pretty fast and pretty skilled for a warrior. 70% skill and 60% speed growth is pretty high. But then again, he also has like a 45% strength growth, which is sort of low in this game. Uh, so if you use him, he's probably going to reach a benchmark where he starts doubling a lot of enemies. That happened to me in my previous playthrough. My Nolan actually got really fast. Because once you start giving him some levels, he will start to get a lot faster. And as a result, I've actually experienced getting a pretty powerful Brolin in the end game. He was like sort of good in the early game, then he got crap in the mid game, and then he suddenly got good again in the end game, which is kind of funny. Um, I personally like to give Nolan uh, Leonardo's Draco shield. I think it makes the Dawn Brigade arc a lot easier because that puts his defense up to 11, and that really allows him to take more hits in the early game. And you definitely need a tank in these three first chapters. I think I'm going to do it again. That was, I think it was Mr. Antonin who taught me that trick, or it was Ray. I can't remember one of the two. Um, so I, I rate uh, Nolan 4 out of 5 stars, uh, just because of his early game utility. Dom the Dawn Brigade arc, they're really tricky, or it's a really tricky arc, so I think he contributes a lot in the few chapters that he's part of in the early game. What do you have to say about Brolin, other than the fact that he's not a mini Jagan? <laughs> Was your last playthrough on normal mode or hard mode? Hard mode. Okay, so yeah, I think Nolan, just like most Dawn Brigade members, is really hurt by hard mode compared to normal mode because it's harder to get him levels, the levels that he needs to get a tier 2 and a tier 3 in a reasonable amount of time. And I can definitely see that he's good for you early game, then falls off a little bit and becomes better later on when you have more resources available to make him good. He really suffers from a lack of combat experience and bonus experience. He does have pretty good growths. I think if you want to train from someone from the Dawn Brigade, uh, the easiest options by far are Nolan and like Jill and Zyhark. Those are pretty much your best options. I don't actually train Nolan much anymore. I basically just solo the whole Dawn Brigade arc with Jill once I get her and everyone else is just a means to get to Jill. Uh, but if you want to train more units than just Jill, Nolan is probably a pretty good candidate. I think he gets weighed down by the Steel Axe, but you get uh, a Hand Axe in this chapter, I think, and then an Iron Axe pretty soon afterwards or something, so it's not a big deal. You also get to forge uh, Iron Axes at some point, which really helps because then his hit also gets a lot better. It's really nice. He is a good candidate for Draco Shield. I, again, I throw everything on Jill because I like to kill beat chapters fast, but if you wanted to give the Draco Shield to someone else, then Nolan, again, good candidate. Probably a good idea if you want to. Like, it's not my highest recommendation, but it's alright. It's fine. He's, he's good with the uh, Seraph Rope or Angelic Rope, whatever it's called in this game, too. It's pretty nice. Die Hill is basically garbage. Coming with skills in general in this game isn't very important because you can just take it off them. And the only benefit to coming with a skill is that you get to use it for zero capacity. So no one gets to use a zero capacity Nihil for the entire game. But Nihil is pretty much useless until the very, very end. So it really doesn't really matter. I always take it off him because I find the, every time he battles, the, the Nihil match just pops up and kind of annoys me. So I just take it off him because it doesn't matter. So that's pretty much all the things I have to say about Nihil. He's like, all right, he's like... Um, like, if you were to, like, LTC or efficiency run this game or something, then Nolan is, like, pretty garbage overall, and then it's early utility, but for, like, casual play, 
Uh, I'll give him four stars. It's fine. Uh, I think I, w I was tempted to say three stars, but you then I'd be setting the bar really high. I'm basically probably putting like Jill and Hara as the only five star units. So I'll give him four stars. Uh, one thing I forgot to say about Nolan is he comes with a coveted Earth affinity, which is one of the best affinities oh, yeah. in the game. That is something that's very worth uh, pointing out. Um, also, there was something else I was going to say about him, but I can't remember right now. I'm sure well, it's going to come back to it. Yes! Ah, this is about the time where we're going to mention the straw poll. So, uh, we are running a popularity straw poll. Um, back when we recorded the first episode, we hadn't begun it yet. People have been asking about this for a very long time. So, uh, Mecca, can you tell me how popular uh, Brolin is on the straw poll? Oh, let me see. Nolan, Nolan. He's, I would say, around halfway. No, not really halfway. He's pretty high up, actually. He's not really? top 10, but he's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. He's like top 20. Right. Like How 300 votes, give or take a couple. Yeah, that's pretty good. So he's pretty like, popular. Yeah, like for, for comparison, number one is like 600 votes. Yeah, and uh, just so we go through the other members of the Dawn Brigade, can you tell us how well Micaiah is doing on the poll? Micaiah is number three. Oh, wow. 500, 530 votes. Oh, wow. People love Micaiah. How about yeah. Edward? Ednerd is um, also pretty high, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straw poll doesn't let you, like, it doesn't show you numbers. I have to count every single one. Yeah, I had to use the straw poll because I couldn't use the regular one because it, it only allows 30 options and there's like a million characters in Radiant He's number 13. He's right below me. Uh. Wow, that's really <laughs> 345 good. 345 votes. And how about our uh, sniper bro, Leonardo? Uh, Klein is at <laughs> a very low. He has like 173 votes. Oh, wow. Um, he's like in the, in the bottom half, basically. Right. Uh, people got really triggered because I wrote Sigurd instead of Sigrun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's sex or sick lot. <laughs> Sigurd. Uh, anyway, so uh, what I've learned from this map is to not visit this village on the first turn because you need Leonardo and Edward up north. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot that village existed because I never really visited it. I think it has like a garbage item. It gives you a vulnerary, so it's not necessary. I tried to get it anyway, but you shouldn't visit it on the first turn because you actually need everyone up there. What I do is I place Nolan right here and I use the Draco shield on him. Oh, uh, let's attack. <laughs> yeah, but this allows him to take four <coughs> hits instead of three. Uh, so if all of these guys hit him, then he will survive with the Draco shield. I put Edward here, though. And then I put Micaiah behind him. Because yeah, the soldier has a javelin, right? He, the one guarding the door has a uh, javelin. Yeah. But he doesn't move. Uh, a lot of these enemies are actually stationary. Yeah, that's why I, I'm. I don't really get why you're having so much trouble with this map because I don't. I always find it fairly easy. Even though I game. had a lot of trouble with it the first time I played it because I didn't really understand how it worked, and it was my first time. And I keep in mind I played Maniac Mode on my first playthrough. I was or I was advised not to do it, but I. I sh so you did it. Okay. I, this is this is familiar. You know how I work. <laughs> yeah. So this no, is the I problem with Edward. <laughs> yeah. It's like so unreliable. There's no weapon triangle, so it doesn't. Uh... Anything. It's also a problem with Leonardo. I can get a kill here. Leonardo can get a kill. Thank God for Bronzak. Thank God for Bronzak being weak as shit. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, just kill as many people as you can without taking counters and should be fine. That is usually how I like dealing with this. Uh, I might. I'm gonna check this guy. He has a Bronzak. This guy is stationary, if I remember correctly. I think both all these three guys are stationary. Uh, I think they move if you're in range. Some of them, at least. I know at least one of these enemies moves. Uh, you can kill that guy with Micaiah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna kill the other guy with, or attack him with Edward. If he can take two hits, he might not be able to, we'll see. He can for now. He can for now. You can get him Wrath range too, but I guess not. Nope, he missed. Yeah, that's the thing about Edward, is like, you can very rarely make a reliable strategy around Edward, because over the course of a battle, he can either crit or get hit, or just not get hit at all. It's just so unreliable. It is really, like, the fact that they removed the weapon triangle on hard mode, it makes the Dawn Brigade arc so much harder than it needs to be, because I feel like these chapters were designed around the weapon triangle. These guys are designed to be taken on by Nolan. These guys are designed to be taken on by Edward. <laughs> this whole map is designed to be taken on by Nolan, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, I guess. It just feels like whenever the weapon triangle is, is not there, I always feel like it doesn't matter when I don't have to face it, and it hurts me when I have to, if that makes sense. Well, like, I feel like, like it helps the player sometimes, but I guess not in this chapter. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, so I like to visit this village with Nolan, um, because... That's uh, fine. Get the axe, yeah. He gets a hand axe right here. 
Wait, so, so you're showing your story or not? <laughs> I'm sure I'm just showing it in the background. Why not? Fair enough. Um, uh, pat that video length, get some good ads going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, it's to show the viewers, Mecca. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How generous of you. I know, right? Besides, I mean, it's been a while since I played this game. I like to read sure. the text as well. And you know, when you don't have to voice act, you can read it really quickly. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if the viewers can read that quickly, but... Eh. Like, get on my get on nice. get on my level, I guess. Like the funny thing about Fulmer is like they're so good, but you also get so many of them that it's like almost a waste of time to just visit these villages. Eight uses for a vulnerary. That is crazy. Alright. Love so it though. It's you never have to worry about running out. Okay, so this is uh <laughs> um I think what I'm gonna have to do here is I know this guy's stationary because he hasn't moved yet, so I think I'm gonna place myself like this and I'm gonna I could smoke some weed, I guess. If these guys both move, can't he die? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you can't check his range. I can't so. check range. I know this oh, guy has six. Oh, he can't reach you, so it's fine. E yeah, but no, this guy doesn't move. I'm very sure he doesn't. But I'm just wondering if I if I sacrifice Edward, I can get his hit points up to like um, fifteen, <laughs> but he'll die to this guy. If this guy it, like, hmm, yeah, no, that that won't work. No, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do this. That's I think. Perfect. I you wanna... can still sacrifice if you want the XP. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice on Nolan, but I... Oh, I see. I wonder if Edward's gonna die to you, both the Archer and the Fighter. 14 well, The Fighter and... can't reach him if you put him closer to you. I guess. I guess. Alright, let's do it. Alright, smoke some weed. Oh, yeah, boy. Like, how do they even, like, in... like, did you just eat the leaf? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah, to me. it's, like, supposed to be healing plants. Yeah, I guess. There you go. Maybe it's the herb that from where you saw like brute from or something. Time to get magic, luck, and resistance. As always. Wow, I got speed. Pretty much. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, too bad she still won't double anything. Nah, okay, that's... If Mikaya gains speed, that just means I get doubled less. Doesn't mean I'm gonna double things. Yeah, that's that's one of the issues that I have with her. Uh, like, even... like e How many speed level ups does she need to, to double these guys? It's like... She needs it's to get five or something. Five, six points of speed to double this yeah. guy. Like, it's so dumb. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do right here, uh, I'm gonna see if I can. 17 plus light from Mikaya should be enough. Yeah, it's enough. And 17 hit points. Of course, he's not gonna die to that guy. So that's good. Of course, I need to hit on this. Well, if you don't hit, you're still safe ish, I think. Mm, I just change plans. Yeah, and then yeah, I'm gonna. Just, I wouldn't even attack here, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> that's not. That's why. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack here. There we go, and then I'm gonna do this. Please Thank miss. God for... <laughs> Please miss. <laughs> Please miss. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, we're gonna get harassed from the bottom here, so we gotta get Leonardo away. At some point. I don't actually remember these reinforcements. I think they take a while to come even in hard mode. Think, you think they come towards the very end. Like, my first time I played this, I actually lost because I didn't know it was like a 10 turn escape. <laughs> uh, Mr. Anthony failed to inform me about this. I think it's different on different modes, too. Probably. I think, uh, I think easy mode is kill boss, actually. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. You already knew this from last turn. <laughs> Can't complain there. <laughs> I guess not. You can use Mikaya and then Edward. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Or I can just use Mikaya. Yeah, and then heal Edward. And yeah. Heal another guy. Yeah, I am also 99% sure that these guys don't move, so I'm gonna just gotta place the... Wait, this I, guy... I'm really sure the boss doesn't move. I'm also pretty sure that guy doesn't move. Yeah, so I'm gonna... in front of the hand axe, yeah. Yeah, and then we can smoke some more weed. Yeah. There you go, perfect. I like how we're not even laughing at weed anymore, it already got old. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Oh yeah! Oh! So juicy. Mm. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this, but speedruns are so reliant on Edward, it's the worst. <laughs> what? Yeah, they... Speedruns are very reliant, not LTCs, but speedruns like are really reliant on Edward. Like oh, because yeah, and right. Strength level ups, it's the worst. That sounds so frustrating. It is very frustrating. So since we don't get a lot of experience, do you think we should? Um, okay, so I think I'm actually gonna milk those reinforcements a little bit. Uh, I mean, the B3 requirement is ten. You said right? Yeah, it is. So I can wait until ten turn before I escape. All right. Well, if you can kill the boss safely, I think I can. I forgot what this guy does if you like hurt him. That might change his AI. I have no idea. Um, I don't this know. This has plus five crits, which can like crit Edward, I think. Can it? Think so. uh, yeah, ooh, it can. that sucks. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Well, I can just. Get mm. penultimate range with Makaya. Yeah, unless he suddenly just starts to move. I don't think he'll do that, do you? I don't think so. 
Okay. If you're gonna like, you can't really milk this chapter much if this guy moves. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Well, even if you kill him, I don't think that ends the chapter, does it? No, it doesn't. I just All right. use a fallary with effort or something. Take him out on enemy phase. Yeah. I know if you. I know if you want to use this guy long term. I wouldn't. I would recommend against it. But Honestly, crazy. I don't know who I want to use long term. Like, I it sort of depends on the level ups I get. I guess. What the but fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Such a tricky chapter. What? <laughs> you gotta uh, be fucking. E okay, well, that's a milk the reinforcements. That's a fucking bitch move, oh. Radiant oh Dawn. The guy just doesn't stand there and let you kill him. Oh, oh my back. fuck! Uh, what the fuck? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and now we know that the boss moves, so thanks for that. Um, uh, Mikai got a perfect level up. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> she's, she's, got a, she's got a perfect level up. I'm pretty sure the boss only moves if you're hurting. That's what I think, too. I still want to kill him, though, so... Um, just put Nolan in the front of him and be like, hey, attack this. Just, like, wall, him, wall off everyone with Nolan and Mikai, or Nolan and Edward. Mikaya's not a good wall. I think I'm just. I think I'm gonna use Edward like this. I think. Uh, not, gonna be, not gonna move. Oh yeah, right. That's why you put people in front of him. Like you just put Nolan next to him. Mm. <laughs> it kind of like spazzes up whenever he uses. Sacrifice. I know it's great. Oh wow, Nolan actually even survives the crit here. That's great. I can yeah. even put him on the sanctuary tile to heal him up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not even sure that heals him in this game. But if I. I guess we'll really matter. We're about to find out, I guess. Hi. Yeah. Is it the Dawn Brigade? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How can you no! be so bad and still breathe? <laughs> oh, you better finish this turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't escape. <laughs> no, just. Yeah, don't attack with Mikaya. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I even called this, I said you're gonna get trapped. He's like, no, I'm gonna be fine. Is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? So the funny thing is, <laughs> off screen, Mangs was like, I'm gonna get the village with Leonardo. And he was like, okay, I'm done visiting the village. But he didn't visit the village, so he walked back and forth for two turns. That's that's the reason Leonardo is like trapped. Right now. I'm good at this game. Oh my god, and I was gonna milk the reinforcements and everything. Well, they milked you. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure Mikaya can reach without a shove. Yeah, she can. She can. All right. Oh, oh. Ooh, you see. Okay, so Edward has gotten three speed level ups in a row now. What? Uh, I think he's gonna double enemies in the next chapter. It's 15 speeds a lot. Some of them, yeah. Enemies get so fast in this game; it's unbelievable. They do. They do. Uh, yeah, good. I'm just gonna shuffle just... backwards. Yeah. There you go. And yeah, I think that's it. That is uh, chapter one cleared in eight turns. Awesome speed run right there. <laughs> I like how she just runs away. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for the help, suckers. Everybody, this way. Oh, cool. Thanks. Hey, so. Yeah. Unit. Is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? Uh, <laughs> no, it's just the third. <laughs> you sure it's not the Dawn Brigade? <laughs> is, it, is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? I just think that guy's so funny. It's like, it's like, oh, is that the dome? Yeah, that seems like a good take. We'll keep that one. <laughs> oh, I'm up. Alright. So oh, and there's a single one escape. <laughs> Fuck. Prime voice acting. So, yeah, we're gonna go play Battle Before Dawn now and watch Jafar die. So, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, kill me uh, now. But until that happens, Mecca, what should they do? Like and subscribe. <laughs> to <laughs> both of us. This is a new run, we get to advertise again, yay. Yay! And remember, if you're ever unsure, just ask. <laughs> is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it the Dawn Brigade? Bye. <laughs>